decided what I was going to work on today. I want to button up the side over here and now those pieces up there. And I want to get this bracket put back on. Uh, those are for the uh, light switches or for the headlights, the override for the headlights. Um, the brackets are here. The brackets are here. And I just got to remember how they went on. Uh, this is the plug. Um, and it kind of works like if you wanted to lock the headlights open, you'd push on this. I mean, that's not very focused very well. Let's try it again. If you wanted the headlights to stay open, they're all vacuum driven. And you can see where the vacuum hoses go in the back. And you can see this is just a slide. It slides up. More light. Slides up. And it either completes the circuit or closes the circuit. And it locks the, uh, depending on where you pull it, and it, lo it holds the vacuum tight uh, so that the headlights stay up. Because when you let go, the vacuum the vacuum lets go, it, it, it uh, pulls them down. Now mine don't work right because um, the bellows need some work, the actuators need some work, um, but that's an easy fix. Well, getting them out is not all that easy, but fixing is easy. So, but I want to put this back in here, the brackets back in here. This is the side panel that goes over one side, and this is actually uh, goes underneath the, uh, the bottom side of the uh, steering column. And I'm not happy with the way the steering column came out. So I gotta rethink that. I mean, it doesn't look bad from a distance. Oops, hang on, what's going on with my camera here? It doesn't look bad from a distance, actually. It does look bad from a distance, but that's not the awful gray color. Uh, so we'll figure out, that's just that's just uh, uh, vinyl on there, it just peels right off. So it's not like it's a major deal, but I'll figure it out. Anyway, I wanna put those back together today. And, uh, but, I have to go find the video so I remember how it all goes back. I had these marked at some point, but when you're messing around, they kind of come off. Um, they have stripes on them, so I got to go back and... By the way, the book I just showed you a bit ago, that's actually going to tell me... Except I'm colorblind, so I don't really know what the colors are. Uh, so that's a tough one. Um, but uh, the rest of the bra brackets down here, um, we're going to hook it all back up and and then get the lights functioning and then I'll put the little vent pull back on there too just to make it look a little more complete all right so we're gonna go ahead and put these pieces back on in here um, I'm gonna start with the bottom of the steering column and if I'm looking at this this is simple it goes up here so one screw goes here in the middle right there one here in the corner and this bracket which holds the manual switch for the uh, for the lights I showed you that a bit ago uh, goes right here underneath so I'm gonna go ahead and try to put that on there I don't know if there's a good place for me to put you so you can see it um, when you're not in the way so I'll just show it to you afterwards All right, so let me uh, let me show you this because you may want to you may have to tackle this at some point. Um, this is a little uh, screw uh, bracket. Um, the bracket originally went to the very right hand side bottom of the driver's side dash bezel, and as you know, most of that was not in good shape. I salvaged it as much as I could, but this is the one piece I could not get placed back in there. You can see it's got the hole for where that would go into here, um, and then a rivet where it was riveted into uh, uh, the upper part of the dash. Well, I couldn't replace that, and I couldn't restore that, so at some point when I get a new dash bezel, um, I think they're like you know, 400 bucks or something like that. Well, eventually when I do that, this will be available so I had to improvise and so what I did is I got a black screw because I liked the way it looked the other ones were silver and I didn't like those and I just did a small little nut on the back 
this is going to hold it into place, uh, this bracket into place, all right? And the bracket, again, this will go, I don't know if I can show you because I got it down too low. But anyway, the bracket goes here and here. Uh, and then I have a screw that goes into an existing uh, uh, bracket that's already this it was able to be salvaged and still stayed on the on the vehicle. Um, these go in kind of like this. You can see the tab here. Okay, so you can see it there. You go. You see the tab there, and this kind of just comes in, and that little tab right there slides into here and gets held in place with a little screw. I have to make sure I have it facing the right way, because if I don't, there we go. And the little screw just goes in this little hole right here, and that's a simple fix, or simple uh, reinstall. Um, the other thing I have is that, now these come with different, and it depends on what car you have, what options you have. And again, this piece right here that I'm putting in, this is actually just the, uh, I have to touch that screw up later. That is just to lock the uh, lock the uh, headlights open or closed. Uh, and again, it works on a vacuum. Uh, you can see the vacuum hoses there. Uh, it does slide up and down. And I think I saw it too earlier, but I'll do it again. You uh, push it back and forward. Or forward, yeah. Push it back, push it forward. And that opens and closes the, the vacuum hose. And that, uh, yeah. And so the idea is, if you wanted to clean your headlights or change your headlights, you can't do it unless it stays open. All that you can do is you can turn the car, put the headlights up, turn, push this button, turn the car off, and the headlights will stay because it's holding the vacuum pressure. Mine won't do that because it's got a leak. Uh, but that's uh, that's how that goes. Now there's also, and I'll take you down to the car here in a second. Uh, this other second screw goes up like this goes up in there and that's going to hold this bracket on next to the next to the car. Now I have the trip meter uh, bracket goes on here. Now that's one I don't have the, the video for. I cannot find the shots so I've got to go do search the internet to find uh, the right the right way that's functioned. But basically it connects onto here and goes right into here. Um, uh, and so you've got the two knots hanging down. I might be able to get it over this way but it doesn't have this type of scenario it doesn't have a screw it's just a metal bracket with no holes in it so we'll we'll play with that a little bit and i'll come show you that in a couple seconds all right so i don't know how this is going to work and this may even be a step down we'll play with it a little bit i want to try to get you to see this part underneath here and so this is where this bracket's going to go it'll fit in like that there's a little little bracket, a little uh, hole, a little uh, uh, metal clip that's on here, and that's where this bottom hole gets screwed in, into. Hanging hanging down right here, that is the uh, vacuum hoses that will eventually go onto here. And I think I did this right, so I'm not going to mess with it too much, I don't think. But you got the top, and you've got a bottom, and I'm not even sure it matters. But I think I showed you earlier, they have different color stripes, and hopefully someone out there can see them, but I can't tell the difference. They look the same. They're dirty. I have no idea what color they actually are. Oh, you can't see them. All right, hang on. So I think I have this right. Where are we? I don't know. I don't know. Lost it. So I think I have these right. I taped them up so I had the top on the top and the bottom on the bottom. And that should match up with... Sorry guys, I'm doing this weird, so I'm trying to... It should match up with the top and bottom here. So I'm hoping that's how I have it. But I don't think it matters because you're basically just doing the... Uh, blocking off the... Uh, uh, the vacuum. Go ahead and hook this up. Where are you? Go ahead and hook this up to these, and uh, we'll get this all put. We'll get this put back together, screwed back in, and then we'll see if maybe, just maybe, the headlights are going to work when I start this up and take it for a drive in a little bit.
should be perfect. Let's see if you bring your screwdriver with you. screw for that. Oops. Maybe not. You never know. Or maybe just didn't get into the right spot. Let's see. Let's do a screw. Should work. Let me make sure I get the right screw for this one too. Yep, that should work. All right, let's try that again. By the way, the part that came off with the little bracket is right here. There was a little piece sticking out here. Um, that would have held that uh, one bracket that this other side would have screwed into, but of course that is no longer uh, there. And we're going to make do until I win the lottery and I strip the car naked and start all over again. Although I probably, I don't know, it, it's possible. I mean, win the lottery, it's always possible, right? But I guess you have to actually play. I don't usually do that. Okay, that's in. Let's go for this thing. Let's get in there. There we go, push down. This one doesn't go where I want it to go. Guess what? It's now all finished. 
Unfortunately, that didn't hold either. So we're kind of uh, gonna have to do some repairs, I'm afraid. Let's see if we can't get that. Can you see it? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, this side didn't hold either. Uh, and so now I've got to do some repairs of some kind. We'll figure that out here in a bit. I'll see what I can do to get that back up on there. Or I may have to just buy a new, whole new bezel. Alright, so you, I, I don't know what to say about this, but I'm going to tell you anyway because it's it's slightly humorous. So I'm looking online and what I didn't know is how do you hit the brights? How do the brights work on this thing? Um, and every place I looked on the C3, it says, oh, C3O, oh, it's on the steering column. Well, this doesn't do anything. That's just the signal light. And that, of course, is just adjust the column. So I'm figuring out, and just now I'm getting ready to put the kick panel in. And I look up in here, and it's just like the old school. It's no different than my 70 or 73 Mustangs. It's got the little dimmer switch right up here. So I feel like an idiot. Oh, I gotta fix, oh, and that's, of course, since I got the right carpet, I guess that's what that was for. So there you go. You know, you work on these a lot and you keep learning something new every single time. So now I know how to get the lights bright. Hopefully that works, I don't know, but it's easy to replace. Um, just to be able to carpet back here. Um, and this is a plastic cover. Which I think is in there, back there is the actual, what is this? this is a, oh, my old, uh, so now we know. It's all connected. Hopefully it still works. We'll find out. But again, in case you were wondering, you got a 76. It's not on the steering column. It's up here. Alright, mystery solved. Interior, interior tool, tour, English, it's hard. Interior tour, you can see I've got it just about all buttoned up. Little in on the carpet. If you look over here, it looks really good. No more wires hanging out. Looking really good. All original parts, all died, except for the seat covers, they're new, that's new, but everything else is just reconditioned and turned black. I just love it. It isn't perfect. It's not going to go to uh, big car shows up in, uh, Big car shows up in Phoenix or Scottsdale and win anything. You won't see me over on the island. But it's way better than it did before. I'll put some uh, before and after pictures up for you. And you'll get a good look at it. Still got more to do, of course. I have the things, the uh, door panels in. But I'm waiting. i got to do some work on the, uh, on the windows. So I don't want to put the door panels on yet because I have to keep taking them off. And then I've got to recheck and make sure... There's some things that aren't on the new ones, like these clips. I don't know that that's going to work or not. And then these are, they're pretty much trash. I want to see if I can get new ones. Because uh, when you, as soon as you push down on them, they'll break. So, we'll see. Anyway, way better.